But you guys are so tall. You grow tall <laughs> when you go the other side, you will grow tall. When I go there, I will grow tall. Yeah. If you go and ask for, uh, how do you call it in Arabic? Sure, Bakasa. Sure, What's yeah. that? You just go and ask. <laughs> so right about now, I'm hanging out with these big gentlemen. As you can see, guys, they are pretty tall. <laughs> me and me, I'm a short person. I'm a short man. So let's let's see where the light is coming. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. So at the moment we are at uh, the yeah. Arena Mall, eh? yeah. and I want to ask my brothers. You're from South Sudan, eh? Yeah. So. What do you like about Uganda as a country? Now that you're here, I can see you're chilling. You're all looking amazing. Yeah. Guys, look at the attires, man. <laughs> yeah, you know, like. Uganda is a peaceful country, mm. a country that love like one another. Mm. It's got the security, everything is so fine. Like we come out, we have fun, mm. no challenges. Everything is good. Life is good. Mm. As long like you mind your own business, mm. everything is just dope. Yeah. Okay. That's what I can say. Yeah. Like, how everything about you? Is... What do you like about Uganda? I can say the lifestyle. The lifestyle. That's what I got, yeah. Mm. The lifestyle. Mm. It's very nice. I can see you fitting yeah. into the lifestyle. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> How much is this? The shoes? Yeah. Well, I don't know. This is 200 USD. <laughs> 200 USD? Yeah, yeah. Man. <laughs> that is yeah. 700 Ugandan shillings. Yeah, 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 oh yeah. my god, yeah, you guys. I, eh? I love the way these guys dress, all the lifestyle, the way they behave. Mm. Mm. John, John, you know, John, you're so smart. Okay. Yeah. So we have another yeah. mate. Yeah. Huh? yeah, this is a big word. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uganda, I like Uganda. Uh, mm. They are a peaceful country yeah. in the side of education. Mm. Yeah, they are. Uh, the knowledge they have, they teach very well in the mm. quality of education mm. and they are friendly to, to foreigners. Like yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. We we'll also like that. <laughs> that is spirit of that. Yeah, nice, nice, to meet you, sir. nice to meet you too. Yeah. Basically, why did you guys leave South Sudan? We left South Sudan in, in the year 2013 mm. due to the war. Okay. The war that broke out, so like we couldn't like, have some education, mm. a lot of things. Yeah. That's why like, we leave the country, we came here. We joined school, we were successful. Like. You're in which class now? Yeah, like which first, campus? Yeah, first year in campus. Wow, which campus? Like I'm in Kumba. In Kumba? Yeah. Oh, that's in Tebe Road. Yeah. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. How about you? Why did you leave South Sudan? Actually, I brought my I brought my little bro for studies. Oh, yeah. which year was that? I'm, I'm new in this area. Even I didn't have even. Yeah, I'm not I came last week. Oh, last week. Yeah, oh, I how came, do you yeah. find Uganda? The vibe in Uganda? Uh, it's good. It's good. It's very nice. Mm. Yeah. How is it compared to South Sudan? Actually, it's not the same. Mm. Uh, it's not the same because. So Sudan we is guys, hot, like the weather. <laughs> mm. When it comes to weather, like our weather is dangerous. It's too hot, eh? Yeah. Too hot, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. here the weather is good. Yeah, How do you find the people of Uganda? Do they treat you well? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah they are kindly, they, they, they are friendly. They are friendly they, to they, us. They, they, they are good. also mm. good as they are friendly. Mm. And they are lost they are they are, they are quite likely to know that also where we come from. Yeah, because of your appearance. Kind of, yeah, and uh, actually how can we help them to also go and Oh. Uh, to see what is going on within our country. Okay. Yeah, they are lots of good. Okay. Have you experienced any challenges in Uganda as a South Sudanese? Yeah, like, like the only challenge, is, like I can say, it maybe like the money. The money. Yeah. Like, What's wrong with the money? It's, <laughs> it's currently it's like <laughs> it's strong. <laughs> She's shy, but please come in the video. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Yeah. The education. The over here. Oh, you came because of education. Yeah, Even you? Yeah, that's uh, the, that, like that's the general style. Why you oh, yeah. but you guys, you're so tall. Guys, look at me. Yeah, I'm man. like a it's kid. A, it's a I'm blessing. like a kid. It's a <laughs> I'm very sure. What's the secret behind being very tall? It's a miracle. <laughs> the milk. It's a miracle. You take milk a lot. Yeah, yeah. It's a miracle. Only. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, which other thing do you like about Uganda apart from the education? Uganda. Okay, it's safe, yeah. Mm. Right, yeah, it's a bit safe. Safer than you know, South Sudan. Safer than there. Mm. But then, but now, okay, yeah, now everything is okay. That was before, but right now, actually, South Sudan is safe. It's okay. Okay. You, but we actually love it here, you know. Mm. Life is you, easier. This yeah. is part of Africa. <laughs> yeah, I understand. 
On your side, the weather is very, very hot. Eh? It's very dry, hot there. Yeah, it's hot. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Eh? All right. Have you tested so far Ugandan food? Yeah, I have I've tested. I've tested. What have you Ugandan tested food, so far? Like, <laughs> like I, I'm so far like getting to know like pilau. Pilau. Okay, yeah. Mm. A pilau is not a Ugandan dish, it's a foreign dish. But I want you to tell me about the local dishes. Have you tested them? And how do you find them? Yeah, like so far, like I've tested, there's a food called Binyeva. Mm, yeah, if that is the Vasos. Yeah, mm. and it's dope, it's cool. Matoke. Yeah, matoke. Do like you have it. Matoke in South Sudan? No. Yeah, we do have, man. What's wrong? We do have Matoke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have Matoke. But, but, uh, but we, don't, never we don't cook it like the way you guys do. How do you cook it? Yeah, we cook it like, eh? you can cook it maybe like in this normal way of uh, cutting it or you make it ready or ready. Yes, okay. Yeah, so you, you just cut it. pieces? Yeah, you cut in two pieces. And done. Then you, you, you are done. You that. don't uh, we pound don't, it like oh, we do When you portion. cook it, you you eat it with rice, mm. not that alone. Like you guys, you just eat it alone. Oh. So you eat it with something like a bread or something like oh, that. Oh, some other yeah. food. For yeah, us, so. we just eat matoke and sauce. Yeah, but sometimes to balance the diet, we add on some other foods. Yeah. For example, matoke, lumonde. Do you know matoke? Sorry, lumonde? No, I Lumonde, know. Irish yeah. potato. Yeah, yeah. Irish potato. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are enjoying I'm Uganda. Still new. I'm still You're still new. Yeah. yeah, which other dish have you tested? Yeah, like I've tested in what they call. Yeah, in cocoa. I, I so far know in cocoa. Like, in cocoa? Yeah, in cocoa we chew it. Yes. <laughs> Chicken and cheese, like, which is like very rare. Like, okay, like, like when it comes like in Sudan, mm. we only eat bread. But bread. We came, yeah, we eat bread. Like, we come here, like, now we used to do matoke. Oh. We eat now, like, actually, that that stuff and it's unique. Mm. Yeah, and it's dope. Okay. Yeah. Like, are you are you wishing to go and see our country? Yeah, definitely, guys. He's asking me whether I would love to go and visit South Sudan. Yes. Of course, I would love to go. <laughs> Can you link me to some people in South Sudan? Yeah, really. because me, I'm a traveler. I, I travel around different areas. So far, I'm traveling around Uganda, but I'm going to be traveling around East Africa and then Africa. But I love so much going to South Sudan. I want to experience. There is this tribe. Um, I'm forgetting the tribe. They are pastries. And we, have Dinka, we have Dinka, we have Nuer, we have Mundari. Yes, the Mundari people. Yeah. Those ones who bathe with cow urine. Yeah, the Mundari yeah. people. <laughs> so you want to see them? Yeah, yeah, I want yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to go and experience that culture, those people. Mm. Because yeah. when I saw... Actually, that do you know what Wodemaya? Pardon? Wodemaya. You know what Wodemaya is a YouTuber? Yeah, we yeah. went to South Sudan and recorded a video with the Mundari people. Yeah. And they were bathing with cow urine and that was amazing so yeah. even me i want to go experience yeah. juba city you know yeah. <laughs> i know like you have to feel this actually city, what i have experienced from the mundari is that mm. they use the, the cow urine mm. to wash up their hair why yeah. why cow urine so that it may turn brown in color you know oh what I'm saying? Yeah. so the acid in the urine turns the hair to brown yeah 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 wow that's amazing yeah. Me, I thought it's because of the scarcity of water, being that your no, no, no. your country is a dry land. We got the river Nile, man. We got the river Nile. We are, we are rich of water. But that's a small portion. That's a small portion. <laughs> <laughs> the river Nile is just a small portion. It's not like here in Uganda. Yeah. We have the Nile. We have Lake Victoria. Yeah. It's the second biggest lake in the world. Yeah, yeah, I know that. We have several other lakes and rivers. Yeah. Can you guys connect me to someone? In South Sudan. South Sudan, that's obviously we can link you because like we have those journalists. Uh, okay, do you have some prominent YouTubers in South Sudan you can connect me to? Like I have them, but like like I have to link. I had forgotten the, the YouTube name. Yes. So like I have to. Go no, with. I mean those you know in person. Those you know in I person. I know, yeah, like I know, like yeah, I know them. Because I want to travel while I have someone taking me around. Yeah. You know when you yeah when you travel in an area and you have someone. Yeah. who has been in that country you feel some kind of safe eh? yeah, you feel yeah. safe that i'm working with someone who comes from this country yeah 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 so do you know any any person yeah, like actually I, I know a lot of people there but mm. i don't know whether will they help you travel around south sudan mm. in large mm. they also they just stick they just stay in oh. yeah, the capital city they don't move around anyhow okay yeah. How is the transport system in South Sudan? 
just as usual, the way you guys. Do you have border borders there? Yeah, we have. But I'm not saying one of them. <laughs> type of the border, Sanke, you know that type of Oh, Sanke? Yeah. Oh, that's type of border, but for us here we have Bajaj. Yeah, you have Bajaj. Yes. We do have Sanke there. Sanke. Yeah. Sanke. Yes, like also. Mm. Yeah. You say? Like here, like in transportation in the city here, they use taxi. Mm. But like in, in our capital city, Juba, we use Bongo bus. Bongo bus, what is yeah, that? Some bus, some buses, they are so deep. Are you serious? Bongo bus, yeah, Bongo bus, and some of them. When you are going to those big countries. Yes, yeah. so for you, you use them in town? They use, yeah, them use them in town. town. Oh, like, guys, that's... Also, like, transporting students from school, like, it's been given by the government mm. to yeah, support yeah. the students, like, around people, all. Mm. Yeah. Wow, wow, guys. I feel like I want to go to I South Sudan yeah. very, very soon. Yeah, actually, I'm still new. I don't have any chance. <laughs> you're still new? Yeah. Uh, are you planning to travel back to South Sudan or you're here to stay? Uh, I'm going to travel back. You're traveling back? Yeah. When will be that? Maybe April. April? Yeah. Okay. So he was talking about the issue of the currency, our currency. What's yeah. wrong with the Ugandan currency? You know, like, like here, it's, it's like... It's very hard like to be in Koloit, like around here life is hard. Mm. Yeah, that's what I can say. But in other words, everything is cool. Yeah. I think it's hard because your foreigners now for foreigners to be able to work you need to have a work permit in yeah. Uganda. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But now that you're a student, you don't have to worry about work. Just yeah. get done with studies. Yeah. And you will find something to do now that you studied in Uganda. Yeah. Life will be easier for you. You learn that's Luganda. Do you yeah. speak some Luganda? Yeah, I can gamble. I can Let's gamble. try speaking Luganda. Yo, yeah. story chimwana. Yeah. Ah, you guy, you're very fluent in Luganda. Yeah, yeah guys, thank you so you're much. Welcome, man. Thank you so much you're for welcome. giving me time, my brothers. We are, we are likely Sudan. to, we are likely to see you in South Sudan. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. But you guys are so tall. <laughs> when you go there, sir, you will grow tall. When I go there, I will grow tall. Yeah. If you, you go and ask for. Uh, how do you call it in Arabic? Sure, Bakasa. Sure, Bakasa. What's that? You just go and ask. <laughs> wow, wow. Thank you, guys. Yeah.